Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. This is going to be another first impressions video. In today's first impressions video, we are taking a look at another gas mask here on the channel, and that is going to be the Mira Safety CM6M. And before we get this video started, guys, I just wanted to let you know that we do have a link down in the description to the Firearm Freedom merchandise store. Anything you purchase off of that merchandise store greatly supports what I do here on Firearm Freedom. And if you're enjoying the content that's coming out here on the channel every single week, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Now, by this point, guys, you pretty much know how I roll, but as always, full disclosure, Mira Safety did send me this CM6M to check out. They didn't pay me or anything like that saying, hey, here's a bunch of money, give us a super positive review. They just wanted to know my honest feedback about how I am liking the mask. I do also have an affiliate link with Mira Safety. So a quick lowdown on the affiliate link that's gonna be available down in the description and the comment section. If you want to pick up a CM6M or any other product that Mira has available on their website, and you would also like to support the Firearm Freedom channel, go ahead and hit that link that'll bring you to Mira's website. There's nothing else you have to do. Basically, anything you purchase off of that link, I get a little bit of a kickback from. So if you do want to support the channel, it would be awesome if you use that link. If you don't care, don't want to support the channel, don't like using the links, no problem, don't use them. But either way, thank you for watching the video. This is one of two of the main masks that Mirror Safety offers on their website. You guys will have seen this Mirror Safety CM7M mask earlier on the channel. If you haven't seen that first impressions video yet, go ahead and check it out. I'll throw the card up in the right hand corner of the screen right now. This is definitely the more kind of tactical, crazy cool looking mask that they have on their website. And it is really designed for that purpose. It's more designed to be able to shoulder a rifle with ease, to have a really good voice diaphragm where you could really easily communicate through it. And this is what this CM7M is made for. The interesting thing about this mask, aside from the fact that it actually is featured in the new Tenet movie, the T-E-N-E-T -E movie, I no, I want to say Tenant like every single time I say that, but it's this kind of interesting, cool looking movie. It kind of reminds me of Inception a little bit. I think it's dropping September 3rd. I'll probably throw some back roll photos up of the trailer where you guys can actually see this mask in action on the big screen in the movie. This would be a mask that could still be used in a tactical application, but is more set up for field of view. Obviously, as you can see here, the main difference with the CM6M compared to the CM7M is the massive panoramic lens that is on the front of the mask. Now, the CM6M has a marked field of vision on Mira's website as 77.6% compared to standard. However, the CM7M has a 71.5% field of view. Now I have to say guys, I'm not sure if these numbers are extremely accurate or if it's just me that I feel like they're a little bit off because I can tell you that I feel like I am getting way more than 77% field of vision or field of view in the CM6M. I don't know if maybe that's just me or a little bit placebo, but I will definitely say that you feel like you're getting a lot more field of view when you don't have anything in the middle of your eyes. That really adds a lot. Although you may still be experiencing the same peripheral vision as you are gonna see in the testing that I do, my little peripheral vision test where I put my hand out in front of me and move it to the side, I definitely still notice obviously a more limited peripheral vision, but as far as the field of view in the front of you, what's slightly below you and above, it is dramatically increased compared to the CM7M. And this aids to a lot of different things because of that increased field of view in the front mainly the fact that this mask feels nowhere near as claustrophobic as other masks on the market. I actually had Mrs. Freedom get in on a little bit of testing for this video, and she has actually never tried on a gas mask in her life. So I had her put on my Israeli 4A1, my Mira Safety CM7M, and then the Mira Safety CM6M. Without a doubt, she absolutely loved the CM6M compared to the other masks in just how they felt on her face. As far as claustrophobic feeling, as far as never wearing a gas mask before, 
Comfort, the CM6M reigned at the top of the list compared to all three of those options. I would have loved to test more options. Unfortunately, those are the only three that I have available in my collection today of gas masks. And the surplus gas mask market is incredibly bad right now. So those were the only three I had available to test. It is a big deal when you can hand this mask to somebody in your family or somebody who has never gotten near a gas mask in their life and in a stressful situation feel less claustrophobic less closed in and feel like they can operate at the same level that they were operating at before putting this on. A lot of people don't really think about that. They are going to be in a very stressful situation if you're in a time that you need to don this gas mask. So to aid in kind of decreasing that stress a little bit, having really nice visibility out the front with a large panoramic lens is in my opinion going to help out. If you're looking through two tiny little holes of a claustrophobic Israeli 4A1 mask, it is definitely more than likely going to increase the stress level with somebody who has never really put that mask on before other than practicing a couple of times. Now, you briefly heard me mention that it's a little bit difficult to actually shoulder a rifle of any type with this mask on. And when I say really difficult, it, it really is nearly impossible to get a solid cheek weld and still see through the optic with the CM6M. It's not necessarily a bad thing because once again, it's not really designed for that. That would be what the CM7M is for in their lineup. But with this mask, is it still possible? Yes, with the proper risers and the proper setup, it would be possible. I would say that the most success that you're gonna have shooting a long gun with this mask on is going to be through some sort of a laser on your gun. That's going to be really important when you're running with this guy. So although it is really kind of not as excellent in the shouldering a rifle department, this mask is incredible for pistol shooting. That's a massive benefit of this increased field of view in the front of you. I had absolutely no issues picking up my sight picture, shooting pistols at the range, running around, moving side to side. In modern days, you might need to don a gas mask, whether you're near some sort of CS gas or something like that. The chances are probably gonna be a little bit higher that you're gonna have that handgun on you rather than a long gun, unless we're talking more of an SHTF situation, where in that case, obviously the CM7M may be the better choice. But that is a huge positive to me. It increases your visibility, and when shooting a pistol, it is good to go. Now, with this mask, because ammunition is incredibly, incredibly difficult to come by right now, I tried to get creative and do different things that weren't just running around and shooting a pistol on a really hot day at the range. Although I did that, I didn't have as much ammunition as I would have liked to. So I actually brought it home and started doing cardio workouts with this mask on to just see how well it performed in a high physical stress situation, sweating, humid environment, while I was actually doing some boxing workouts, practicing on some punching and different things like that in full kit in a very, very, very hot area of the Firearm Freedom compound. <laughs> and I actually had no issues with fogging whatsoever. I was sweating like crazy in this guy, and it is still going to feature the same sweat drainage area, which is actually also your exhale valve on the bottom. This is going to mirror the CM7M mask, and it also has very interesting exhale valves up here on the front of your face piece. And what that is going to do, if you think of it kind of like the defroster in your car or something like that, it is putting that air against the lens of the mask purposely to make sure that you have even more of an anti-fogging capability. I also experienced a very good seal on the inner face mask area on the inside of the mask. I had no issues with comfort there, especially when I started sweating heavily. And also the outer area of the mask, again, was very, very comfortable to wear at the range and while doing cardio. To add that with the panoramic lens, overall, the mask is incredibly comfortable to wear for long periods of time. And although you generally will experience a little bit more comfort with a six strap design, this five strap system still got the job done just fine and I didn't experience any crazy uncomfortable 
things with that five strap system. Now, I will say that I did notice with this mask, because you have that panoramic lens, you do have to really make sure you get these straps tight on your face and have a very, very good seal. I noticed a little bit of side to side movement. Now we're talking about a very, very small amount and my seal still did not get broken. But if you want to avoid that entirely, I realized that once I really cinched down the straps, that went away completely. Now, talking about fitment of the mask, Mira actually makes this in a one size fits all sizing. That's something to do with the panoramic lens and the overall design of the mask. So this mask is going to fit most individuals that are buying it. You don't have to worry about measuring or anything like that. Now, Mira also offers this in two different configurations. One is going to have the drinking tube that you can see I have here on the side of this mask. It wraps up right underneath the panoramic lens. And then the other option does not have a drinking tube capability. Obviously, in most situations, I would say it's a massive benefit to have that drinking tube because if you are in a contaminated area and you want to still drink from your canteen, that actually does come with the overall package, the mask and the canteen and the drinking tube system. It is definitely a benefit to have. Now, the mask that does not have the drinking tube setup actually is a little bit more readily available and in stock on Mira's website. This mask right now with the drinking tube currently has a two week lead time, but it's very important that you check that pretty frequently on Mira's website because with all of the craziness going on in the world today, these things go out of stock pretty quickly and the lead time can increase pretty quickly. What I will say is that on Mira's website, they actually do a relatively good job of updating that lead time pretty frequently. I've gone on some weeks and I've seen lead times up to six or seven weeks and then I've gone on some other weeks and have seen those lead times drop back down to a week to two weeks. At the moment of filming this video, they are currently at a two week lead time for the drinking tube setup and they are ready to ship on the non-drinking tube CM6M. Other than that, you have your voice diaphragm up here at the front and it is slightly smaller than the ginormous voice diaphragm on the CM7M. I will say that the voice diaphragm sounded noticeably clearer on the CM7M, obviously with this massive voice diaphragm up here at the front. It had slightly more of a raspy sound out of this voice diaphragm. It was not bad in any way, shape, or form, but if I'm comparing it with the two, I would definitely give the voice diaphragm benefit to the CM7M rather than the CM6M. But for most applications, this is gonna be just fine. Now you also have the capability, just like the CM7M, to have two 40 millimeter thread filters on either side of the mask. This is cool because if you did just want to run one and you did have the proper riser on your rifle to get a good cheek weld, then you could switch it to whatever your non-dominant side is. Or if you want to double the filter capability, you could run two filters at the exact same time on each side of the mask. I did a majority of the filming with this P3 particulate filter that Mira offers on their website. And I also have one of their MBC filters as well. I just wanted to keep this in the plastic to actually show you guys what these MBC filters ship like. They're in these kind of vacuum sealed plastic containers. This is pretty freaking cool because it gives it a very intense shelf life. You're looking at about a 20 year shelf life on these filters. Obviously, once you start using the filters, the shelf life then goes down. So these masks are manufactured in the Czech Republic and not in the United States. And they also are compatible with the 3M Safety 6878 Spectacle Kit. That is a big deal. A lot of people with glasses kind of forget that you're not really able to wear glasses inside of this mask. We noticed that really, really quickly with Mrs. Freedom because she does wear glasses. And as soon as she put the mask on and realized we had to take her glasses off, she really couldn't see much through the mask. So it's going to be important that again, if you do wear glasses, you're gonna to wanna to get one of those spectacle kits. But overall guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up this first impressions video on on the Mirror Safety CM6M. 
I really, really enjoy this mask. I think it's an awesome mask to have in your collection, especially to have in your preparedness side of things for somebody in your house that has not really worn gas masks a lot, or if you're looking for it in an application that you need more of that field of view. If you guys have any other questions about this mask or anything else on the channel, please throw them down below in the comment section and you guys know I will get back to you. While you're down there, check out the description for the links to the Firearm Freedom Discord server, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter account. On the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter account, we do daily posts that you guys are not going to want to miss. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more great videos to come soon.